Hi, uh, um, I asked uh, Wilson to help me this year. Um, thanks, Wilson. <laughs> Oops. Um, so come to the uh, Chris Stingle uh, this year. Um, actually, I, I don't have any idea because for as an immigrant, uh, Chris Tingo is a much a traditional vicar thing to do. So I did watch back last year whether how, how do the Chris Tingo works and what are the meanings. And uh, Nathan said it's the traditional vicar thing uh, to do, to share, uh, to illustrate what Jesus did for us. Um, especially for children and family. And uh, I was thinking how to make it my way because everyone knows the Christengo, I suppose, because many of us are British, right? You should know what is Christengo. And I was thinking, so what is Christengo mean for us? Um, what, any, any, any business to us? And the first thing is uh, uh, in Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Uh, correct me if I'm not. And uh, <laughs> I kept so hard to uh, memorize all the sermon. And uh, God so loved the world. So um, for our brilliant idea, we used the orange to represent the world. So God so loved the world and uh, still bounce. And uh, so God so loved the world, how, how he loved, because you remember as an immigrant, I first come to this strange land. For me, it's strange land, you know. None of my Christmas is with snow. None, <laughs> none of my Christmas is with no, snow. And with black eyes, and I sleep, I drive into another lane and I crush. Uh, this is my car this year. And, you know, I was thinking, oh gosh, um, this my Christmas is uh, ruined because my car broken and my house fell off electricity. Speaking another language, um, spending Christmas with others, not my families, and... Two years before that, I was uh, depressed a little bit. And how come God so loved the world when you see uh, Fantastic Wilson? And I was thinking, how God so loved the world? Then we need to use this one. Um, yeah. God didn't answer my question and my prayers, but he gave me this four sticks with, uh, with candies. Uh, do, do you know what, what, what does it mean? I forget the sermon, so someone help me. <laughs> so, Noah, do you know what is a candy and the sticks means? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, but you're better than mine already. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the promises, the food, the candy represent the food. And why are they four sticks? Because of four seasons. So when time comes by, four seasons pass, another Christmas again. Hopefully, I didn't crush my car <laughs> next year. But uh, so four seasons went by. So there's uh, spring, summer, and autumn, and what is that again? Winter. And four seasons uh, went by, and nothing happens, but I came to another church, to St. John's. Uh, God provides me with four seasons and foods. And nowadays, I suppose if you ask uh, your children where, uh, what Christmas present you want, they may say, not, not candies, not Kit Kat, but uh, 
Xbox or a PS5. And I was uh, thinking, Dad, you promised me that if I behave well, being good, and you will give me a full collection of Barbie, right? <laughs> but you didn't give me. Uh, is it Santa is a false stories, a big lies? I still question another year, this, the second year. So, <clears throat> but you know, God, the most powerful thing is God is not just a um, materialistic God, not just provide me a car or provide me a cozy home. He is also a spiritual God and also oversee all the timeline. And at that time, last year of Christmas, what do you think I'm praying? To get back home or to have a glorious purpose? What do you think I'm praying? To get back home with my family in Christmas or with peace? Yeah. Um, so God didn't answer me because he, he know what I need what my need is not just an Xbox or a car or some candies. He you knows deep down in my heart, I need a purpose. I need peace in my heart. I need to fix my personal issues. But what spiritual need, needs is what? And um, so God sent his son for what? Die on the cross, shed his blood. So, um, I may need your help. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a brilliant thing that um, God makes the church and we help each other. So, uh, the ribbon, the red ribbon, uh, represents the blood of Jesus. And then, the blood of Jesus, he died for us. We tied around the orange. What does it mean? What does it mean? Um, let me think about the sermon again. It's because God not, not just love you, but love you or love me or love him or love the children only, but he loved the world. God so loved the world. And Sometimes I get anxious because my parents are still in Hong Kong. My friends are in different countries. This time this year, I don't have Christmas with them. I'm still anxious about this because uh, I feel being left by them. So kind of not happy. But... One of the brilliant things that is God is not just love me. He also loves my friend, love my parents. So he take care of them. He shed his blood for them. He died in the cross for them. So that even I living in England, I know that God, this uh, powerful almighty God will love them and give a hug for them and makes me feel so warm. And then, so this year Christmas, I light a candle which uh, represents the light of Jesus is the light. Um, yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jesus is the light. So every time when we pray, and uh, we pray continuously, rejoice always because we know that God is in control in everything. We have, when you, when you look back in life, we have cereal, we have a television for World Club, we have this cozy church, we have people to serve your children in children ministry like Teresa, we have pastor, we have almost everything. And God provides us in always. 
The first year I came to this country, I prayed to have a house and nothing happens. Still yet, nothing happens. But God, instead of giving a house in Hong Kong, in my homeland, but rather He gives me a new home in St. John's. Sometimes things are difficult, but more graciously when you look at Wilson and all you can is laugh. Yeah, thank you. And, um, and uh, I was thinking, what is the common thing about uh, Christmas is, uh, or Christingo is, uh, I learned a word, cheesy. And uh, in English, uh, I don't know. At first, I don't know what is cheesy. And uh, people say, when you look at, um, there's an there's a example sentence, is uh, when you look at cheesy old traditional Christmas special, that is cheesy. And then I was thinking, still have no idea about what is cheesy. And, <laughs> and I was thinking, there is no any good about uh, tradition, you know. But they have an old saying about, um, they are not good to be tradition, but they are traditional. But because they are tradition, they are good. Although some, every year we come to the church, we sometimes don't know why, and uh, it's cheesy, and uh, you look at Wilson, but uh, someday we will look back and know that cheesy things unite us. We like family. Uh, today we call others brothers and sisters. We call this think this building, this place, a home, because cheesy. So God so loved the world, and He loved you, and loved the person next, be, next, next to you. So please give a handshake or a hug to, to the person next to you. God so loved the world, thank you. Yeah, and uh, I give it to Teresa. Thank 